Hello everyone and you are welcome to another insightful session right here on this channel with me Tete Tay. Today we will be looking at a scholarship in the Netherlands, specifically at the University of Groningen and we would be looking at the Eric Blumink Fund, okay? So I'm going to dive straight into the video, but then before I continue with this video, if this is the first time you are watching any video via this channel, I am glad that you are here. Kindly hit on the subscribe button for me. Also hit on the post notifications so that as and when I release a new video, you would be notified. Without wasting much time, let's jump straight into the video for today. So like I said earlier on, we are looking at the Eric Blooming Fund at the University of Groningen. Okay, so now this is the homepage of the scholarship. Mind you, I would be inserting all the relevant links in the description so you can always check out the information for yourself, verify the information, and then you can proceed to put in your application. Okay, so this is the Eric Blooming Fund. Now let's look at the selection criteria. Okay, so first you look at the purpose, and this is for master program. That is your master's, that is your MSc, your MA, and then your LLM, okay? And also, it involves all programs, okay? So for you to be eligible for this scholarship, you have to look at the country of origin, okay? So do all to go through the countries here. Of course, I have a bias towards Ghana and Nigeria. So of course, I'm going to look for Ghana first. And I can find Ghana here. Of course, Nigeria is also located here. Of course, you can find other African countries here as well. So explore and make sure that your country is eligible for this scholarship, okay? So now let's look at additional information, okay? So eligible candidates, okay? So candidates for the Eric Blooming Fund should, the first thing is that you have received provisional or unconditional admission for a master program before February. Only then will applicants be considered for a grant from the Eric Blooming Fund, okay? So now let's look at the master's program, okay? So you can just click on the master's program. I don't want to close this page, so I'll just right click it, but then you could just click on it and then explore the programs, okay? So let's quickly look at the programs and how you can apply for the program and then we are going to see how you can then apply for the scholarship so that you would be considered for the scholarship as well okay so let's look at the master's program okay so master's program in alphabetical order okay so once you are here you can explore the master's program but for it to be much more easier for you you know in the netherlands they speak dutch and then they speak english as well okay so just click on master's degree programs in english once you're on this page okay so just click on master's degree programs in english and then once you are on the page of the master's degree program in english at the university of Groningen, you can explore the programs okay so these are the programs that you could look at okay so once you find the program that you want to apply to let me just redirect you back to my youtube page where i talk about how to apply for schools in the netherlands okay so to study in the netherlands you need to use and um, the study link account okay so once you go to my youtube channel okay and then you go through my videos this is my channel once you go through the videos there is this video titled step by step study link account creation study in the netherlands this is the video you watch and then through this video you would be able to swiftly apply to the university of Groningen. but then it is always important for you to look at the course that you would be applying to and then the eligibility criteria for the course before you watch this video once you watch this video you would be able to apply to the University of Groningen, okay? I would be inserting the link to this video in the description so that it would be much more easier for you without any hindrances, okay? So step-by-step step, study link account creation, how you can study in the Netherlands, okay? So now we go back to the scholarship page. Now we have looked at the programs and how you can apply for 
this program. Then the next thing that makes you eligible for this scholarship is that you must have excellent academic performance, preferably to be confirmed by letters of recommendation. Okay, so your letters of recommendations are going to um, confirm your excellent academic performance. Okay, then you must also have excellent grades during your bachelor or undergraduate studies okay so if you have a first class it puts you in an excellent position also if you have a second class do not fret still apply you never know what might happen so just make sure that your grades are good and then you must have excellent english language proficiency in accordance with the admission requirements of the program of choice remember i said when you go to the master's degree program that you want to apply to you have to look at the eligibility requirements but coming from ghana just make sure that you have an english proficiency letter from your university and that would suffice for any english language requirements when you want to study in the Netherlands okay and then you also have to be available for the whole period of the program and be able to take part in the entire program so the next thing is that you have to be in good health and then you must have no other means of financing the study in question okay so the grant information okay so the grant is awarded for a one year or two year two years a master's degree program and then the grant is going to cover your tuition your cost of international travel your subsistence your books and then health insurance please note that a considerable number of students apply for this scholarship each year whereas the university can issue only a limited number of grants okay so a considerable number of people apply but the university has a limited number that they can offer this scholarships but don't let that deter you. Put in your application now. So this um, scholarship is being provided by the University of Groningen. And then let's look at the deadline. It is not possible to actively apply for the Eric Blooming Fund Scholarship. Okay. Suitable candidates will be informed about a nomination. Okay. So once you put in your application to the University of Groningen, once you are eligible for the scholarship, the school is going to contact you and then tell you to apply for the scholarship okay so once you have looked at the master's program just watch the study link account creation create your account and then put in your application once all your documents are in check and you are eligible for the scholarship the university of going again is going to send you an invitation to apply for the scholarship okay so now let's look at the application the university of Groningen admissions office in consultation with the admission boards of its faculties will determine which applicants will be nominated for an eric blooming fund scholarship only applicants who have received a provisional or unconditional admission offer for a master's program before february can thus be considered in order to allow for enough time to process the application to a master program by the admission office such a master application should be completed by the applicant before first of December okay so before 1st of December you must have submitted your application to the University of Groningen for any master's program okay so for more information regarding the scholarship program please contact the mobility and scholarship Dex. you can always click on this link and then you can also see the Eric Blooming fund okay so yes that is it for today I wish you all the best with your application this is how you can apply to the eric blooming fund at the university of Groningen in the netherlands i'll definitely catch you on the flip side stay blessed and i am out